Hello learners, you are once again welcome to Joy Learning TV Basic Classroom. I am Emmanuel Edukwesi, your facilitator for today's math lesson in Basic 6. Today we are going to talk about numbers and numerals. And we are going to continue from where we ended in our previous lesson. Numbers and numerals in Basic 6. And as I said, we are going to continue from where we ended in our previous lesson. Today we are going to take a starter by identifying the numeral for a written number or a number name. That is going to be a starter. So the number name being displayed on your screen is 8,259,137,261. Let us read all over again. 8 billion 259,137,261. million one hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and sixty one so Lenis, what is going to be the numeral for this particular number name what is going to be the numeral is it going to be this particular numeral or this particular one or the last one so we have three options there let's look through and see which one duly represents the number name. Let's take it again. 8 billion 259 million 137,261. So in these three options being provided, which one represent it correctly? Which one represent it correctly? So we have the first one. We have the second one, and then we have the third one over there. So we can see, good. So we can see that the answer is C, 8,259,137,261. Very good. And I hope your answer was the same as mine. Let's take the next one. Very good. So for the next one, it's 4 billion, 289 million, 757,125. Let us all read again. 4 billion, 289 million, 757,125. So for this particular number name, which of this numeral best represents it? Which numeral represents it? So we have the numerals we have for A, we have B, and then we have C. Which one do you think will be for the number name? 4,289,000,000. One hundred and twenty-five. So, what would be the answer for this particular one? Is it going to be A, B, or is it going to be C? Let us see which one is correct. Very good. So, our answer is A, which is four billion two hundred and eighty-nine million seven hundred and fifty-seven thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Very good. So, Lenes, that is our starter for today. As I said, we are talking about numbers and numerals. And under numbers and numerals, we are still talking about counting and representing whole numbers. Counting and representing whole numbers. And what we are seeing is that at the end of our lesson, our activity is that we'll be able to still demonstrate and understand some quantities of place values. We are going to use the place value to understand and mention some numbers or quantity of things. And then in our counting, we are counting up to billion. We are counting up to billion. And then also, we will also be able to use what we call the number chart to also bring out our understanding or to still uh, make us understand numbers using what we call the number chart. So, learners, that is what we are going to do. So, in our lessons, we still talk about counting or the stages of counting. And we said we count in ones, we count in tens, 
we count in hundreds, we count in thousands, we count in tens of thousands, we count in hundreds of thousands, in million, in tens of million, hundreds of million, and then we end at billion. We end at billion. So in all this activity that we have been doing, we have been using a lot of instrument or a lot of materials in understanding or in demonstrating numbers. So learners, you remember that we started even using what we call the multi-base block. We use the multi-base block to also to represent or count numbers. Then after, we even use what we call the graph book to also model the multi-base block. Then we use a self-currency note or a self-made currency note to also model numbers. And then lastly, we also use what we call the number wheel. We also use the number wheel chart to also model number. Now, this is what we call the place value chart being displayed on the screen nicely. So we have units, we have thousands, we have million, and we have billion. So in our lessons, what we did was that we are writing numbers under it, and then we are trying to mention, or we tried to mention the name of these numbers. We use this place value chart nicely. And then as I said, we also use what we call the number wheel, the number wheel. And in the number wheel, what we did was that we threw marbles, and th these are marbles over here. We threw marbles on our number wheel, and some of these marbles, as we did last time, some fell in once through up to billion. So we counted them, we counted them, and then we wrote them in the place value chart over here to identify the value for each of the marbles being written under all these stages of counting, beginning from once through up to billion. That is what we did in our previous lessons. But for today, learners, we are going to concentrate using what we call the number chart. The number chart to also read out or mention out or identify some numbers. Now, the number chart, learners, is a kind of a table or a grid that contains ordered numbers. It contains ordered numbers. In these ordered numbers, it is a skip counting. Skip counting of some numbers. So I'm going to display it over there for you to see the number chart. So very good. So this is the first number chart for you. So it is ordered numbers. And I chose to begin from 10,000. From 10,000. Then we move on to 11,500. So when you look at it carefully, learners, when you look at these numbers carefully, just taking the first row, when you look at the numbers carefully, you will see that it's a skip counting of 1,500. It's a skip counting of 1,500. A skip counting or addition of 1,500. Addition of 1,500. So you can see over there that our first number was 10,000. When we add on 1,500 to the 10,000, it will give us 11,500. When we add on again to the 11,500, you see that it will give us 13,000. So we can now justify that this particular grid or the first row is addition of 1,500, 1,500, or a skip counting of 1,500. Let's come to the second row and also look at it. So it is the first number that we have in our second row is 30,000. 30,000. Now when you add 1,500 to the 30,000, you see that we will have 31,500. 31,500. When you add again another 1,500 to the 31,500 learners, you will see that you will have 33,000. 33,000. When you add on again 1,500 again to the number, it will take us to 34,500. So you see that it is a skip counting of 1,500. A skip counting of 1,500 or addition of 1,500. We are just adding on. Good. So when you add 1,500 again to the 
to the 34,500, it will give us 36,000. When you add on again, you will see that it will give us 37,500 and then 39,000. When you come to the 50,000 as well, you see that we added 1,500 to the 50,000 and it gave us 51,500, 53,000, 54,500, 56,000, 57,500, and then 59,000. The next row is 70,000. 70,000. When you add 1,500, when you add 1,500 to the 70,000, it will give us 71,500. Then 73,000, 74,500, 76,000, 77,500, then 79,000. Taking the last number, we have 80,000. So the next number is going to be 81,500, 83,000, 84,500, 86,000, 87,500, and then the last number over there is 89,000. So when you look at the grid over here, you see that it's a skip counting of 1,500. 1,500 or it's adding on 1,500. Addition of 1,500. Good. So learners, in our activity, what we are going to do is that I am going to identify or pick out a number. So I have picked out this number, which is 54,500. Let us all say it, 54,500. Again, 54,500. Now we are going to identify numbers around this number. We are going to identify these numbers or numbers around what I have circled. We are going to find those at top, those at its left, those at its right, and the one which comes down or at the bottom of the 54,500. So let's look at it. Let's first take the one that comes on its left. So what is the number on its left or on the left of 54,500? What number is it? I want you to write it down for me to see. Yes. So on its left is this particular number. On its left is this number. And the number is 53,000. 53,000. Very good. Let's go to the right of the 54,500. On its right, on its right is what number? So on its right is this particular number. And then the number is 56,000. 56,000. What about on top of it? On top of the 54,500. On top of it is this particular number, which is also 34,500. 34,500. Now let's come to the bottom or down of the second number. And the, on its down is this number as well. And that number is 74,500. 74,500. Good. So we could have a lot of second number or an identified number. What I want you to do is that when the number is being identified as, let's say, this one, what you need to do is that you are going to read the numbers around it on top, at the bottom, on its left, and on its right. So pick any number at all. You can pick this number as that also. Find the one which is on top of it, at the left of it, at the right, or even at the bottom of it. So that is the activity that we are going through. What we are doing is that we are trying to count out. We are trying to count or read out numbers. We want to be conversant with these numbers. We want to play and be conversant with these numbers. So we have 76,000. On top of it is 56,000. On left of it is 74,500. At the bottom of it is 86,000. And then on the right of it is also 77,500. So Lennis, I have this number chart for you. For this one, you can see that there are some spaces which are being left out. There are some spaces which are being left out. What I want you to do is that I want you to relax and write in 
or write in all these numbers which have been left out, taking into consideration counting in 1,500. We are counting or adding on 1,500. So what would be the number in this or in the first space? We have 10,000, and then there's a space over there to 13,000. If we add 1,500 or 1,500 to the 10,000, what number are we going to have? Very good. So the number over there is going to be 11,500. 11,500. Because we added 1,500 to the 10,000. And we have arrived at 11,500. So from 11,500, we move on to 13,000. And as I said, we are adding on. We are adding on. So when you add on, or when you add 1,500 to the 13,000, we are getting, so we are adding 1,500 to the 13,000. When we add 1,500 to the 13,000, we are getting our number as 14,500. 14,500. So it will take us to our next particular space, or the next space, and that space is going to have 17,500 because we added on 1,500 to the 16,000, to the previous uh, space over there. We added 1,500 to the 16,000, and it gave us 17,500. Let's come to the next row. Let's come to the next row and look at it. So for the next row, our first number is 30,000. 30,000. From 30,000, we move on to 31,500. 31,500. So, learners, if we add 1,500 to 31,500, what do you think our number will be? What do you think our number will be? We are adding 1,500 to this, and our number is going to be 33,000. 33,000. So, our next box is also going to be 36,000. It is also going to be 36,000. Because we are adding on 1,500. We are adding on 1,500. And if you add 1,500 to the 34,500, it will give us 36,000. 36,000. Let's go to the next column or the next row. In our next row, we have 50,000. Then we have 51,500. So definitely, our next number is going to be 53,000. 53, Thousand because we've added on or we've added 1,500 again to the 51,500. Then our next number is going to be 56,000. If we do it correctly, that is what we are going to have 56,000. So in the 70,000 uh, row, in the 70,000 row, we also have the first missing space also to be 74,500. 74,500, and then the next one is also going to be 77,500. 77,500. So, learners, for the last row, for the last row, I want you to try your hand on it or try your hands on it. We have 80,000, then we have a missing space over there, then between the 83,000 and then 86,000, there is also a missing space, and then another one also over there. So, what do you think? will be the number or the numeral for the 80,000. If we are adding on 1,500, if we are adding on 1,500 to the 80,000, what is going to be the number or what is going to be the numeral being written in the open space over there? Lenis, if we add 1,500 to 80,000, then we are going to have 81,500. 81,000. 500. If we add on, the next number is going to be 84,500. And then the last space is going to be 87,500. 87,500. So this particular number chart is a skip counting of 1,500 or addition of 1,500. We are adding on. We are adding on 1,500 to the previous numbers and when you do it correctly you see that we will get everything nice as there very good so 
we have another chart. Another also skip counting of a particular number. A particular number. So let us try and look through. Taking the first row into consideration. And come out with the number that we are adding on. Or the skip counting. Which number are we skip counting? So let us, let's take the first row. Now the first number is 10,000. The first number is 10,000. So if our first number is 10,000. And the second number is 13,000, 16,000, 19,000, 22,000, and 25,000. What do you think is the difference? What is the difference in between the first, the second number, and the first number? So looking at 10,000 and 13,000, 13,000 and 16,000, learners, you can see, or you can say that it's addition of 3,000, or skip counting of 3,000. So if we had begun from zero, then we'd have had zero, then 3,000, then 6,000, then 9,000, then we continue as well. And here, because we are beginning from 10,000, we have 10,000, we add on 3,000 to the 10,000, and we arrive at 13,000. So we have 13,000, 16,000, 19,000, 22,000, and then 25,000. It's addition of three addition of 3,000. And when you go through the number chart, when you go through this number chart, you will see that it is addition of 3,000 in all. So let's take, quickly take our next chart and find out the missing spaces. Find out the missing spaces over there. So we are seeing that it's addition of 3,000. Addition of 3,000. So let's, let's fill in this quickly. We are adding on 3,000. We are adding on 3,000. So if we add on 3,000 to the 10,000, then we are going to have 13,000. 13,000. It will take us to 16,000. If we add on 3,000, then the next number is going to be 19,000. I hope you got it as well. Very good. Let's go to the next row. We have 30,000. We have 33,000. So definitely, the next number is going to be 30, 36,000. It's going to be 36,000. Good. Then, the next number is going to be 42,000. 42,000. Good. I hope you are following this. I hope you are following it. Good. So our next number is 50,000. We are adding 3,000 to 50,000. When you add 3,000 to 50,000, then our number is going to be 53,000. Good. Then our next number is going to be 56,000. From 56,000, we move on to 59,000. 59,000. Good. Then we are going to have 65,000 also over there. So when you look through, Lennox, when you look through, you see that it will be very, very easy for you to complete this particular uh, number chart. When you, we are adding on 3,000, we are adding on 3,000. So when you add 3,000 also to 73,000, you are going to have 76,000. Also here, then here we are going to have 82,000 there. And then for the last one, we are going to have 99,000. 99,000. So this is how to complete a number chart, which some have been left out. And that is the activity that I'm also going to give to you for you to uh, do for me. So, Lenis, we are talking about counting and representing numbers. Counting and representing numbers. And for today, we've been able to read out and, uh, and also identify some numbers from the place value chart and also from the number chart. And that is what we are doing. We are talking about numbers. We want you to be very conversant with numbers how to read out numbers even wherever you, found your, you find yourself. So that is what we are doing. And today, we concentrated using what we call the number chart to read out numbers. Number chart. Good. So this is your assessment tax for you. Now, because it, is, uh, because it contains a lot of numbers, learners, what I want you to do is that quickly take phones and then take a snap from your television screen. Take a snap of it. 
and then try out to do the work nicely. You can then relax and then draw your number chart nicely, write out the numbers which have been given, and then complete those that have been left out. So you be able to see that is a skip counting of a particular number. When you are able to find that number, then you, I think, you'll be able to fill out all the missing spaces. So learners, this is where we end our lesson for today. You can as well follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV. And then at the end of doing your assessment tax, take a snap of it and then send to our email address at joylearningtv at manjoyonline.com. Joy Learning TV at manjoyonline.com. Learners, I am Emmanuel Educacy, your facilitator for today's math lesson. See you and bye.